Alright, um, apparently I didn't have this on record. I do that a lot with uh, this camera. This is what I've gotten so far. I've got uh, four resistors on there. This is the uh, Velleman little preamp kit that I, I bought some time ago in anticipation of using it with the uh, uh, bench amplifier to make a signal tracer out of it. So that's what we got so far. We got the uh, four, first four resistors soldered on. I'm going to cut the leads off. Yeah, we get that out of the way. Now the next group of uh, make sure you're seeing me. Next group of uh, resistors are vertical. I want to clean my tip off my soldering iron. So uh, that would be R5, 6, and 7. I see R5, R6, I don't see R7. Oh, right there, R7. Now i got to find out which one is which because uh, one of them is a 2.2. So R7 is the last one. That's the 2.2. That makes it easier. So we don't have to worry about it quite as much. So I, I don't know if you noticed that, and I don't even know if you can see it or not. I think you're looking at it, though. There's a big, big uh, hole here, or loop, whatever you want to call it, for the body of the uh, uh, resistor to set against, and the smaller ones for the lead. So I, I didn't know if you all noticed that or not, but that's the way the vertical resistors are usually marked out. And I try to observe that whenever possible. Which, you know, is about every time I, I do it. Uh, anywho. Alright, those are all soldered now. Get this out of the way. Up, up, and away. Now you can all see those if you didn't get a chance to see them before. I'll clip the leads off. Alright, there we go. There's what it looks like. Now I think we are going for the capacitors next. Get some of this junk out of the way. Keep our workspace fairly clean. Uh, let me see if there's any special instructions. I don't believe so. Capacitors over here. All well, these pins probably, uh, the IC socket probably goes next. Uh, we can put that in. That's not a big problem. And then the pins that uh, for the power output and the uh, or power input and the AF and in and out puts, they're over here. I think they got some extra ones in there. I think. But, uh, go ahead and put the uh, socket on first. Being as it does say that. Now you got to kind of watch the. Uh, uh, there's a notch right there. You got to watch that, and you watch this at the same time, and you see that there's a notch there, so it gets mounted in there a certain way, like that there. So the match or the uh, notches are matched. Now what I like to do on these. Is take a screwdriver and bend over pin on each end like that like that might as well go ahead and bend this one over here too and this one over here too alright now again I'm going to have to have some close-up stuff to get this solder on. Take a little closer look at it. See, it looks like a pretty good soldering job. I'm not the best solder, but I don't do too bad. Seems to be in there nice and, well, it's not totally flat, but it's not bad. Good enough for this job. 
Alright, now next I said is these pins. I'm not really crazy about doing the pins. But they gotta be done, so might as well do them, right? Nice. All right, those are all in there. Let me take this out of the way. Ah, yeah. I think we can see all those there. Nice, very nice. Now I'm kind of wondering what goes in next. I'm leaning towards the capacitors, but you know, we'll go according to whatever it says here. All right, we got two is the uh, C socket to. Uh, uh, four is the PCB uh, pins, two of each did those. Uh, next is the electrolytics. And uh, looking like uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. And I'm going to put these pins away before they get uh, knocked around and lost. They may come in handy for something, you never can tell, right? All right. I can just pick them up. That's the big, big challenge for me is picking them up. If I can get that, you know, a little pressure on that back there, it'll push it up, and I can get my finger under it a little bit. That's the way you got to do it, or the way I got to do it. Oops, thought I had it. All right. Now, again on the um, electrolytics, you got to pay attention to the. Uh, First, you gotta pick one up. All right. Pay attention to the minus and the plus. Now you, you see the minus. Are you actually seeing this? I don't think so. Maybe I don't know. Minus is on this stripe here, so it's always the shortest one. Is the minus, so that should help you a little bit. Um, now on the board itself, if we look at C1 over here. There's a plus. I think you can see the plus right there. And so that's going to go there, the long lead. And the short lead goes in right next to it. Kind of like that there. And on the back side, we'll bend them out a little bit. So they'll stay in there a little bit. And we can do that. And I'm only going to solder one of these at a time. Alright, that is everything. Well, that hasn't been put in yet. Did we miss that? I think we did. Oh, that was supposed to go... Okay, that's the next step on there. It's the trim trim pot. RV1. And then the IC gets mounted and it's done. Just like that. Now this can only go in one way. Makes it easier. It's got two two long legs you can see and a short one or not short one but I mean two legs in the back like that and there's one in the front and there's three holes there for it to go in so it only goes in one way. So we'll put that in just like that. And I'm gonna use our screwdriver and try and bend these over a little bit if possible. this one this way just so it holds it in there that's the main thing because when you turn them upside down they have a tendency to fall right out if they're not held in there by someone 
No trimming on that. Looks good to me. And next thing I'm going to do is snap in the IC. And again, we have to kind of observe our our um, what is it I'm trying to say? Our slot in the front there. Let me point that out. It's right there. So that's the way the IC has got to be mounted in there. Now you'll notice the IC is mounted in anti-static um, material, so that we don't uh, it don't get blue up on the way. Now these are generally have to be pushed down just a hair. You always want to do it on a flat surface so that you can uh, get pre equal pressure on all all the pins at the same time. Don't have to overdo it. Just make them fairly straight up and down, and watch your watch your uh, slot, your cutout, whatever you want to call that thing. That's got to be observed as we go in. Just not quite enough. Alright, now that should do it. That's straight up and down. Come around this side and look like it's pretty well lined up. And there you go. Just like that. They are in. We'll go ahead and drive her home. And she's in there. So we don't have to worry about that. All the pins are in. You guys probably ain't seeing a lot all of what I'm seeing, but seeing enough, I do believe. That concludes the um construction of this little kit the uh, Velleman I'm not, I don't know what the number is let's see if there's a number on there K1803 uh, kit it is a mono preamp is what it is so not bad not bad if it does what I want it to do that'll be perfect and basically what I want it to do is to work in, in conjunction with my bench amp there to make it into a decent it won't be perfect obviously it's probably not as going to be as good as my heat kit but a fairly decent uh, signal tracer so that's basically what this is it's going to be I should say I do have to uh, mount it into the uh, project box and I think it's going to fit just fine yeah you can see there it does fit now there's one hole there that I can use and it will fit with that one, I do believe. Let me double check. I think it does. Yeah, it fits fine. So, and then I'll take a, put a little standoff on the other corner where that is, and then uh, that'll make a that'll make it come out just fine, I think. I would like to have a little hole drilled in here for the preamp, or for the uh, uh, what is that thing I'm looking the variable resistor. And so that, uh, you know, that it can be adjusted. So that's, that's the, the situation on that. Like I said, I'll get something up on there and it'll, it'll basically mount in there like that. I think you'll see that, yeah. So, and again, I'll put a hole in the thing for it to mount, uh, to uh, adjust this. Actually, I can, I can even do that without uh, uh, putting a hole in and go ahead and adjust it before I even put it into the box. Now I can also do it this way. I can just get it off the uh, standoffs altogether and go that route. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look at it and think about it a little bit, but at least that part of it's done. And uh, let me uh, turn you around here and you can see my ugly puss for a change, maybe. Hi. How y'all doing? Yeah, I got my glasses on because I had to see. <laughs> um, you guys, uh, I know this is going to be a long one, but, you know, 
I'll try to speed up some of the uh, soldering, things like that, and uh, hopefully get it down to a reasonable reasonable size. Um, I still got the uh, macro switch on. We don't need that, do we? No, we don't need that. Um, so, anywho, that's uh, what we're looking at. I, I had to drive, do something on the workbench because I had, you know, all this work I've been using and the video before you saw I cleaned the bench off, so I thought it was time to do something. So, and then I watched uh, Tom, K2BEW, um, he's working on an Elecraft uh, ham radio type kit, and I've been watching it. I don't know which build or which version, which video this was, but uh, he's very thorough when he does it. And like I said, I was watching that and I thought, well, I need to do some kit building. And I had this one to build, so I thought, hey, might as well build it. <laughs> so, and it, it needed to be done anyway, so. Uh, this is a kind of interesting thing. I, I, you get this with the kit. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what that is. Uh, it says voltage, current, amperage, I guess amperage, wattage, oh, I see the voltage or the current is the amperage, um, kilohertz, wattage, kit number, uh, so I, I guess that's a sticker for the outside there of the thing, but I don't know, I probably won't use it. And they also give you a little advertisement sticker to put on something, and I see a good place for that right there. So, uh, anywho, that's going to do it for this evening. You guys have, like I said, a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see ya.